2 Esdras chapter 1 The second book of the prophet Esdras, the son of Sarius, the son of Azarius, the son of Helchius, the son of Sadamias, the son of Sadak, the son of Akidab, the son of Achius, the son of Phines, the son of Hili, the son of Amarius, the son of Uzziah, the son of Merimeth. The son of Arna, the son of Ozias, the son of Boreth, the son of Abyssi, the son of Phines, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, of the tribe of Lui, which was captured in the land of the Medes, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians. And the word of the Lord came and told me, saying, Go thy way, and shew my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickeds which they how done against me, that they may tell their children's children. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they how forgotten me, and how offered vento strange gods. Am not I you and he that brought them out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage? But they how proked me vento wrath, and despised my counsels. Pull thou off then the hair of thy head, and cast all you on them, for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them vento I how done so much good? Many kings how I destroyed for their sakes, Pharaoh with his servants, and all his power how I smitten down. All the nations how I destroyed before them, and in the east I how scattered the people of two provinces, Ewan of Tyrus and Sidon, and how slain all their enemies. Speak thou therefore vento them, saying, Thus saith the Lord. I led you through the sea, and in the beginning gall you a large and safe passage. I got you Moises for a leader, and Aaron for a priest. I got you light in a pillar of fire, and great wonders how I done among you, yet how you forgotten me, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, the quails were as a token for you. I got you tents for your safeguard, nor earth lest you murmured there. And triumphed not in my name for the destruction of your enemies, but you are to this day do ye yet murmur. Where are the benefits that I how done for you? When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry and told me, saying, Why hast thou brought verses into this wilderness to kill verses? It had been better for verses to house through the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. Then had I pity upon your mornings, and got you manna to eat, so ye did eat angels' bread. When ye were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock, and waters flowed out to your fill? For the heat I cowered you with the leos of the trees. I dewed it amongst you a fruitful land. I cast out the Canaanites, the Pharisees, and the Philistines before you. What shall I yet do more for you, saith the Lord? Thus saith the Almighty Lord, when you were in the wilderness in the roar of the Amorites, being a thirst, and blaspheming my name. I gall you not fire for your blasphemies, but cast a tree in the water, and made the rear sweet. What shall I do vinto thee, O Jacob? Thou you do wouldest not obey me. I will turn me to other nations, and vento those will I do my name, that they may keep my statutes. Seeing ye how forsaken me, I will forsake you also, when ye desire me to be gracious vento you, I shall how no mercy upon you. Whence or you shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for ye how defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye how not as it were forsaken me, but your own salutes, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, How I not prayed you as a father his sonies, as a mother her daughters, and a nurse her young babes, that ye would be my people, and I should be your God, that ye would be my children, and I should be your father. I gathered you together, as a hen gathereth her chickens to her wings, but now what shall I dove into you? I will cast you out from my face. When you offer vento me, I will turn my face from you for your solemn feast days, your new moon, and your circumcisions how I forsaken. 
I sent unto you my servants the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain, and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, your house is desolate, I'll cast you out as the wind doth stubble. And your children shall not be fruitful, for they how despised my commandment, and done the thing that is yule before me. Your houses will hide you to a people that shall come, which not howing heard of me, it shall balloon me. To whom I how shewed no sickness, yet they shall do that I how commanded them. They how see no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance, and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they how not see me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. And now, brother, behold what glory, and see the people that cometh from the east. Unto whom I will do for leaders, Abraham, Ik, and Ikavosius, Amos, and Micah, Ahal, Habdias, and Ionis, Naham, and Abakak, Sophonius, Ages, Zachary, and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Chapter 2 Thus saith the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gow them my commandments by my servants the prophets, whom they would not hear but despise my counsels. The mother that bare them, saith unto them, Go your way, ye children, for I am a widow, and forsaken. I brought you, VP, with gladness, but with sorrow and honiness how I lost you, for ye how sinned before the Lord your God, and done that thing that is yield before him. But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. As for me, O father, I call upon thee for a witness o'er the mother of these children, which would not keep my quinant, that thou bring them to confusion, and their mother to a spoil, that there may be no offspring of them. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they how despise my quinant. Woe be unto thee assure, thou that hidest the righteous in thee, O thou wicked people. Remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah whose land leeth in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes. You and so also will I do unto them that hear me not, saith the Almighty Lord. Thus saith the Lord Vinto Esdras, Tell my people that I will chew them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would how you in Vinto Israel. Their glory also will I take Vinto me, and chew these the everlasting tabernacles, which I had prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for anointment of sweet sore. They shall neither labor, nor be weary. Go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you, watch. Take Hohen and earth to witness, for I have broken the Yule in pieces, and created the good, for I lose, saith the Lord. Mother, embrace thy children, and bring them VP with gladness, make their feet as fast as a pillar, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. And those that be dead will I raise VP again from their places and bring them out of the groves, for I how know in my name in Israel. Fear not thou mother of the children, for I how chosen thee, saith the Lord. For thy help I will send my seruans a say in Aramie, after whose counsel I how sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees, laden with doors fruits, and as many fountains flowing with milk and honey, and so in mighty mountains, whereupon there grow roses and lilies, whereby I will fill thy children with I. I. Do write to the widow, judge for the fatherless, Jew to the poor, defend the orphan, clothe the naked, heal the broken and the weak, laugh not a lame man to scorn, defend the maimed, and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness. Keep the old and young within thy walls, where sure thou findest the dead, take them and bury them, and I will do thee the first place in my resurrection. Abide still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness shall come. Nourish thy children, O thou good nurse, establish their feet. As for the Seruans whom I how you in thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and honiness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry, and how abundance! The heathen shall ennui thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, sith the Lord. My hands shall cure thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. 
be eyeful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will delir thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth, and shew mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come and shew mercy unto them, for my wells run o'er, and my grace shall not fail. I has just received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught, and despised the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. He shall do you your lasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the your lasting light shall shine upon you for your more. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the eyefulness of your glory. I testify my sire openly. O receive the gift that is due in you, and be glad, dying thanks unto him that hath called you to the holy kingdom. Rise, VP, and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world, and how received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Shin, and shut, VP, those of thine that are clothed in white which how fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. I has just saw upon the mountain a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And fun Yuri one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted which I am ruled at greatly. So I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? He answered, and said unto me, These be they that how put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal, and how confess the name of God, now are they crowned, and receive palmas. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and jeweth them palmas in their handies? So he answered, and said unto me, It is the Son of God, whom they how confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them, that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way, and tell my people what manner of things, and how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen.